Oh, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with another fan TV, man. Back at another video. Like the content this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Comment your thoughts on the video. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. So look, uh, the Raiders make it official. They hired Todd Monkey to be their next offensive coordinator. And um, we gotta talk about it. So let's get right into it. Number one, I made a video yesterday about Eric Bieniemy being the Raiders offensive coordinator potentially. Uh, I thought it would have been a great move for the Ravens to make, for whatever reason, it didn't happen. Airbnb was by far my number one, my number one guy. So is it disappointing? Slightly, it really is. You know, I thought he would bring an offense at the Ravens and us fans that really haven't seen before in Baltimore, right? Um, so yeah, that's slightly disappointing. I'm not gonna lie to you there. Number two, Ty Munkin was my number two guy. So I'm not gonna say I'm uh, absolutely distraught by this hire. I'm not. I think it's a good hire. Now. Let's get to the let's get to Tom Munkin himself. I believe he's like 57 years old. He's coached a lot, so let's you know whatever. Let's get all, let's get it past that. So I'm already seeing online he's Greg Roman 2.0. He has literally nothing in common with Greg Roman. Nothing. Okay. The reason that Georgia had tight end use, a heavy tight end use last year or the last two years, is because they had two of the best tight ends in the nation. He leans heavily on what his personnel is. If you have good tight ends, he's going to use them. He has good wide receivers, he's going to use them. All right. Georgia literally had two of the best guys in the nation. So, of course, he's going to use those guys, okay? He has a better pass game than Greg Roman. Um, if you look up anything about Georgia previously before Tom Lincoln got there, they give him all the credit for opening up the offense, making it more explosive, more expansive, things like that. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. All right. Now, his NFL stints. Let's talk about that and talk about who was leading the teams there. 2016 to 2018, he was the Bucs offensive coordinator, all right? In 2016, these are the three leading receivers. Mike Evans, Adam Humphreys, Cameron Bray. Two tight, two, two wide receivers, excuse me, one tight end. In 2017, these are the these are the leading receivers. Mike Evans, Deshaun Jackson, and Adam Humphreys all had over 600 yards. Three different receivers over 600 yards, okay? 2018, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Adam Humphrey, and Deshaun Jackson. All over 700 yards. He had four receivers over 700 yards. 2018 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You can look it up. All right. So he's not Greg Roman. If, if the Ravens give this guy wide receivers, wide receivers will get used. And I still expect the Ravens to add two wide receivers this offseason, whether it's draft, free agency, whatever it happens. I expect two new wide receivers at minimum to be in the room. All right. Now, listen, 2019. He was with the uh, the the uh, Cleveland Browns. He was the offensive coordinator. He didn't call plays. So I think uh, Freddie Kitchens called the plays. Okay, but he was offensive coordinator, right? Odell Beckham, Jarvis Landry, both had over a thousand yards that season. All right. So once again, Todd Munkin is not Greg Roman. Okay, let's get it out of our heads. He's a guy who leans heavily on his personnel. So the Ravens give him good personnel. That's who will be used. Now, listen, as the Ravens are currently constructed right now, I expect Isaiah Likely to have a prominent role in the offense next year. That doesn't mean the Ravens are going to be in two tight ends every single play. No, it doesn't mean that. But I expect him to be used far more uh, than he was this year and far more effectively in the past game, everything like that. All right. Listen, before he got to Georgia, Georgia were kind of a slow offense. They weren't that good. The last two years, they've been over 40 points a game. And he did this at Southern Miss when he was, at, he was a hit with the Southern Miss back in, I think, the mid-2000s or something like that. They had over 40 points a game. They led him to their best uh, season. He's a good offensive mind, all right? Now, like I said, to me, this was number two. We won an Eric enemy. I won an Eric enemy. All of that. All of that is fine. All of that is true. Tom Munkin is not a bad hire, all right? Let's see what he could do first. To me, this is more now on the Ravens' front office to get him the right personnel because if you get him the personnel, he will use them. If the Ravens get him two more wide receivers, so you do, you throw Bateman, you know, DuVernay, and two more guys, whatever, two more really, really good receivers, so, du, so DuVernay is three, you're three, four, right? You get that, he will use three wide receivers. He will do that. I promise you he will because he's done it in Tampa Bay. He, he They did it in Cleveland. His track record shows in the NFL, if he has talent at wide receiver, he will use the talent at wide receiver, okay? And listen, even in that 2018 season, when I said he had the four receivers over 700 yards, he also had O.J. Howard, who had over 500 yards at tight end. So they had an explosive passing offense, okay? All right? He's not Greg Roman. All right, Ravens fans, I promise you he's not Greg Roman. I, I, listen, I, 
if you've been on this channel, if you're new to this channel, look, I was wanting Greg Roman gone. He should have been gone in 2020. The Ravens did not hire Greg Roman 2.0. I promise you that. Okay. Um, so listen, it's a good hire. It's a good hire. I had to grade it. It's a B plus hire. It's a solid B plus hire. Um, can't ask for much more, right? I mean, you know, like I said, I want to Airbnb here. It didn't happen for whatever reason. We'll see where he pops up next. He stays in Kansas City, goes somewhere else. We'll see. Uh, but it didn't happen. It just didn't happen. Uh, but look, one more time before I get out of here. He's not Greg Roman. All right. If you like the content of this video, go ahead. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, man. I got more Ravens content coming. We got the first big news of the offseason. So, uh, you know, we're going to keep it rolling after this, man. It's your boy Gary with another fan TV. I'm out.